Good morning, boys and girls. Lately, we've been talking a lot about our senses and what our senses are. So we learned a little bit about the sense of touch when we played with the Play-Doh and used our hands to play with the Play-Doh. We touched it, we felt it. We also used our sense of smell because we did smell our Play-Doh. We talked about what it smelled like. We closed our eyes, talked about what it felt like and how we felt when we were using it. We also talked about our sense of hearing when we did our hearing activity um, with the farm animals. We identified some of the animals by their sounds. So you listened, used your sense of hearing. So today we're also going to talk a little bit more about our sense of touch, but we're going to read a story and it's called My Five Senses. And it's a book that talks about all five of your senses. Now, do you know what your five senses are? Hmm. Yes, we did talk about our sense of touch, our sense of hearing, our sense of smell. That's three senses. Can you name any other senses? How about what do you use to look at your world? What do you do when you want to see something? You use your sense of sight, your eyes, right? What about when you're eating something? What sense are you using then? You're using your sense of taste, right? Your sense of taste. So you can taste with your mouth. You can smell with your nose. You can hear with your ears. And you can see with your eyes. But you also can touch with your hands. And if we talk a little bit about our senses, our senses are tools. They're tools in our body that we use to experiment and experience the world. So we use our tools, which would be our hands, to touch, to feel. We use our nose to smell, our mouth to taste, our tongue to taste, our ears to hear, and our eyes to see. So we're gonna read this story called The Five Senses, talk a little bit about how the little boy experiences the world using his senses. All right, so I'm gonna hold the book in my hand and I'm gonna look through the pages and read them to you. But I wanna show you the pictures because the pictures are the best part of this book. All right. Are you ready? I can see with my right eyes. I can see with my eyes. Good. So you can read this book too. You don't even need to see the words. What do you think he's saying? What do you think? I can hear with my, what can you hear with? Ears. You can hear with your ears. I can smell with my, what are you using? Nose. I can smell with my nose. Good job. Let's see what else he can do. Oh, this is a good page. I can taste with my, what's he tasting with? His tongue. I can taste with my tongue, which is in your mouth. We only use our tongue to taste food, right? I can touch. I can touch with my, what's he using? His fingers, his hands. I can touch, touch with my fingers. I bet you guys are doing a great job reading this book. I do all this with my senses. I have five senses. When I see the sun or a frog, when I see a sun or the frog, or when I see my baby sister, I use my sense of sight because I am seeing. 
seeing. When I hear a drum or a fire engine or a bird, I use my sense of hearing, my sense of hearing. When I smell soap or a pine tree or cookies just out of the oven, oh, I use my sense of smell. I am smelling. thinks next. When I drink my milk and eat my food, I use my sense of taste. Good. Taste. I am tasting. When I touch a kitten or a balloon or water, I use my sense of touch. I am touching. Touching. We just did water play. Let us sink and float. And we used our sense of touch. Sometimes I use all my senses at once. Sometimes I use only one. I often play a game with myself. I guess how many senses I'm using at one time. When I look at the moon and the stars, I use one sense. I am seeing. He's using his eyes to look at the moon and the stars. He uses one sense. Oh, this looks fun. When I laugh and play with my puppy, I use four senses. Do you know what four senses he's using? I see, I hear, I smell, and I touch. He can see his puppy, he can hear his puppy, he can touch his puppy, and he can smell his puppy. That's four senses. What sense do you think the puppy's using? What sense is he using? Hmm. I wonder if you guessed. When I bounce a ball, I use three senses. I hear, I see, and I touch. He can hear the ball bouncing, he can see the ball, and he touches the ball. So that's three senses. Sometimes I use more of one sense and less of another, but each sense is very important to me because it makes me aware. Oh, I have my sense of hearing. I hear my dog barking. To be aware is to see, all I can see is to hear, all I can hear, to smell, all I can smell, to taste, all I can taste, and to touch, all there is to touch. Wherever I go, whatever I do, every minute of every day, my senses are working. They make me aware. So he uses his senses to be aware. You use your senses to be aware? Today we're going to use our sense of touch. Maybe even some other senses. Let's see if we can figure that out. We're going to make sensory bags. Sensory bags are bags that you put things in and use them to touch and to feel. It's a sense. It's a sensory bag. So you can use a one gallon bag or you can use a one quart bag. Whatever you have in your house is fine as long as it's a sealing bag. It can zip, it can slide as long as it seals. So I'm going to start by using my little bag. Right, we're going to start with a little bag. And the little bag has a slide on it. And I'm going to slide it and open it. And there's many things you can use in your sensory bag. You can use a baby oil. You can use hair gel. 
You can use water and oil. You can use shaving cream. You can put a little food coloring in those if you want. You can put food coloring in these as well if you like to. So there's many things that you can use. Um, rice, you can use vegetable oil. You can even put finger paints in there and mix finger paints together. Because when they're in the bag and you touch them from the outside, it feels different. So I think right now I'm going to use my hair gel and I'm going to put it in my little bag. And that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put hair gel in my little bag. So you're going to need a bag, whatever it is you want to put in it, and some tape for sealing the bag, bag later, and lots of fun things to put in your bag with your hair gel or your baby oil. But I'm going to start with my hair gel and I'm going to squeeze it all into my bag so that I fill this bag up as much as I can. I'm not sure how much I'll get out of here. And this is clear. You can use colored hair gel, you can use colored gel soap, or you can even put food coloring in your gel so it'll change the color. I'm gonna use clear so that you guys can see what it is I'm putting in my bag with my gel. It makes it easier to see. And I'm gonna bang it a little bit to get all the gel from the top, or I should say the bottom, from the bottom to the top of the jar. And then uh, squeeze it all in. Make sure I get as much as I can in this bag. Oh, I think I'm using another sense. Can you hear the noise the bottle's making? That's my sense of hearing I'm using. I'm using my sense of touch to put it in. But now I'm gonna use another sense. Ooh, I can smell that. What sense is that? My sense of hearing. I'm sorry, my sense of smell. My sense of hearing, to hear the liquid come out of the bottle. My sense of touch, I got it all over my fingers. My sense of smell, when I smelt what was in the bag. And now I'm gonna put things in my bag. What kind of things can you find that are soft, that won't poke through your bag? I'm gonna show you some of the things I have. So. I have some googly eyes. Oops, did you see that? I have feathers, which just blew off my tray. I have pom-poms, sparkly ones, little itty bitty ones, our bigger ones. I have some foam shapes. I have beads. I have glitter. I have string and I have ribbon all kinds of fun items. I also have a kitty cat walking by. The little boy in the store used his senses to play with his dog. I can use my senses to feel my kitty. So I can feel him, he's soft. And he's using his senses to smell. See how he's smelling? He's smelling my flower. Yes, so I'm going to put items in my bag and I think I want to start with maybe googly eyes. Dragon, you want to help me? I think Dragon wants to help me. I'm going to scoop a bunch of these googly eyes and pour them in my bag. I wonder what that'll look like. Oops. They get a little sticky. With my hands sticky. I'm gonna put some googly eyes in my bag. Hmm. How many do you think I should put in there? I'm thinking I should put a lot in there. What do you think? I should put a lot of googly eyes in there. Oh, I'm using my sense of hearing. My dog is using his sense of hearing. He hears a truck. A truck going by and it makes him bark. He's using a sense of hearing. He hears the truck. 
Remember we talked about how animals communicate? My dog's communicating that he hears the truck by barking. All right, guys, I have a bunch of googly eyes I stuck in here. The next thing I wanna do is get some of the air out of the bag before I seal it. I think I'm gonna put a little bit, some beads in there with the, with the eyes. Maybe I'll put a bunch of beads in there too. You guys, what do you think? Should I put some glitter in my bag? Hmm. Maybe I'll put a little bit of pink glitter in my bag. I'm gonna open it and sprinkle it in. I don't put pink glitter in with my beads and my googly eyes. That's what I'm gonna do. Now I want to squeeze. I want to squeeze all the air out of the bag. Okay, squeeze all the air out and then seal it up. And before I close the very end of my bag, I'm going to make sure all the air is out and then close it. And then I'm going to take some tape and you can use clear tape. You can use the little masking tape. I'm going to use this green tape just because it's colored and I like to see the color. So I'm going to use this green tape. I think dragons had enough of helping us. All right, so I'm going to take some green tape and I'm going to seal the top, the top where my slide is so that nothing leaks out. And I'm gonna put a little piece of tape over this first. And then I'm gonna take tape and I'm gonna tape it across like this and fold it over so it's sealed nice and tight, okay? And you might need more than one piece of tape. I'm gonna actually use two pieces of tape just to be safe. I'm going to tape it and now you can move all the gel inside and all that glitter and make sure that everything is mixed up. All right, so I'm just making sure everything is all mixed up nice and good inside my bag. And now I have my very own sensory bag. And I have all kinds of fun things. Can you see all my fun things inside my bag? You can see the glitter and you can see the beads and the eyes. They almost look like they're floating. Remember we talked about floating and sinking? So they're inside the gel and they're all over the place. And your grown up can use a Sharpie and they can even write letters on your bag or your name. And you can put your bag down on a flat surface and trace those letters with your finger and try to make the letters in your bag. You can have fun with that. You can draw a picture and try to trace the picture too. Like I can draw the letter A. I'm making the letter A. You might not be able to see it. Maybe if I put it on the book and hold it flat. See all my beads in there and all my googly eyes? And you can practice writing letters with your, with your fingers. That'd be kind of fun, right? Use your finger to make a letter. And letters and you can draw pictures. So the whole idea is to use your senses. You can use your sense of touch and feel the bag. You can use a sense of sight and look at the bag. I think I'm going to make my second bag bigger and maybe I'm going to use my baby oil and see how that comes out. Because there's one thing about baby oil I like and it's the smell. You can use your sense of smell. Mmm, it smells nice. So there's many ways you can make a sensory bag. I wonder what your sensory bag's gonna look like. I wonder what you're gonna put in your sensory bag. 
Everybody has different items at their houses. So I'm very curious to see what you'll put in your bag. And when you make your bags, take lots of pictures. So mom and dad, or your grown up, can put it on Seesaw, or they can text or email the pictures to your teachers. And then I can print them out and hang them up with all our artwork and display them. And then we'll come together in class and we'll use our sensory bags. We used our calm down, calm down bottles to help us calm down. A sensory bag can help you do that as well. But it's also a good way to relax and just feel the bag and look at what's inside it. Thank you for playing with me today and doing the activity and using your senses. I think Kirby's trying to tell me he's using his senses because he keeps hearing things outside. So when I see you next, we'll talk about our five senses again. And I'm very curious to see what you put in your bags. I wonder, I wonder what you put in your bags. I wonder how your bag feels. Do you think the gel will feel different than shaving cream? <clears throat> Do you think gel will feel different than baby oil or paint? Hmm, I wonder. Maybe you'll do a few and then you'll tell me what the difference feels like. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.